Hi everyone. This video, yeah, I know I understand it's not everyone's sort of cup of tea, but I want to share this to try and help people lift up and raise their vibrations. I think it's important to listen to others because this is how we learn from our mistakes and they give us advice and this is how we gain our wisdom. This is how we learn. It's a human thing to communicate. Animals do it too. Okay, listening to others. James 119. Know this, my beloved brothers. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Proverbs 12.15. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but a wise man listens to advice. Proverbs 18.13. If one gives an answer before he hears, he it's a folly and a shame. Proverbs 18.12 A fool takes no pleasure in understanding, but only in expressing his opinion. Proverbs 19.27 Cease to hear instruction, my son, and you will stray from the words of knowledge. Proverbs 2.2 2. Making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding. Proverbs 11.14 when there is no guidance, a people falls, but in the abundance of counsellors, there is safety. Proverbs 17.28 Even a fool who keeps silent is considered wise, but when he closes his lips, he is deemed intelligent. Proverbs 5.1-23 My son, be attentive to my wisdom. Incline your ear to my understanding that you keep discretion, and your lips may guard knowledge, for the lips... Of a forbidden woman drip honey, and her speech is smoother than oil, but in the end she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two edged sword, her feet go down to death, her steps follow the path to shoal. Titus three twelve Speak evil of no one, avoid quarrelling, be gentle, and show perfect courtesy towards all people. Proverbs twenty one twenty three Whoever keeps his mouth and his tongue keeps himself out of trouble. Proverbs 19.20 Listen to advice and accept instruction that you may gain wisdom in the future. James 1.26 If everyone thinks he is religious and does not bridle his tongue but deceives his heart, this person's religion is worthless. Mark 4.24 And he said to them, Pay attention to what you hear. With the measure of you see, it will be measured to you and still more will be added to you. Proverbs 17.27 Whoever restrained his words has knowledge, and he who has a cool spirit is a man of understanding. Proverbs 10.19 When my word, when my, Proverbs 10.19 When my words are many, transgression is not lacking, but whomever restrains his lips is prudent. James 1.22 But be doers of the world, and not healers, here is only deceiving yourself. Proverbs 10.8 The wise of heart will receive commandments, but a babbling fool will come to a ruin. Ecclesians 3.7 A time to hear and a time to sow, and a time to keep silence and a time to speak. Exodus 14.14 14. The Lord will fight for you, and you only have to be silent. Philippians 2.4 let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Mark 4, 1, 20. Again, and he began to teach beside the sea, and a very large crowd, crowd gathered around him, so that he got into a boat and he sat in on the sea, and the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land. And he was teaching them many things and parables. And in his teaching, he said to them, Listen, a soul went out to sow, and he sowed. Some seed along the path, and the birds came and devoured it. The other seed fell on the rocky ground, where it did not have much soil, and immediately it sprang up, since it had no depth of soil. Matthew 11.15 He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Malachi 2.2 2. If you will not listen, if you will not take it to heart to give honour to my name, says the Lord of hosts, then I will send a curse upon you, and I will curse your blessings indeed. I have already cursed them, because you do not lay it in to heart. Philippines 2, 3, 4 Do nothing from rivalry or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourself. Let each other of you look not only to his own interests, but also interests of others.
Luke 11:28. But he said, "Blessed rather than are those who hear the word of God and keep it." Psalms 141:3. Set a guard, O Lord, over my mouth; keep watch over the door of my lips. Romans 10:17. So faith comes from hearing, and hearing comes through the word of Christ. Jeremiah 29:12. Then you will call upon me and come to pray me, and I will hear you. Proverbs 1.5 Let the wise hear and increase in hearing, and the ones who understand gain a, a guidance. Proverbs 10.17 Whoever heeds instruction is on the path to life, but he who rejects reproof leads others astray. Revelation 3.20 Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice, open the door. I will come in and eat with him and he with me. Proverbs 20.19 Whoever goes about slandering reveals secrets. Therefore, do not associate with a simple babbler. Psalms 116.1-2 I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy. Because he's inclined his ear to me. Therefore I will call on him as long as I live. Ephesians 4.15 Rather speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way to him who is in the head, into Christ. Philippians 4.9 What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Proverbs 16.20 Whoever gives thought to the word will discover good, and blessed is he who can trust in the Lord. 1 Samuel 3.10 And the Lord came and stood, calling as others, Samuel, Samuel, and Samuel said, Speak for your servant hairs. John 8.47 Whoever is of God and hears the words of God, the reason why you do not hear them is that you are not of God. Proverbs 6.20 My son, keep your father's commandments and not forsake your mother's teachings. Revelations 2 7. He who has a ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the one who conquers, I will grant to eat the tree of life, which is in the paradise of God. Galatians 4 6 9. And because you are sons, God has sent the Spirit of His Son into your hearts, crying, Abba Father, so you're no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir through God. Formerly, when you did not know God, you're enslaved to those, but by nature are not gods but now you have come to know God or rather to be known by God how can you turn your back again to the weak and worthless elementary principles of the world whose slaves you want to be once more Galatians 4 6 9 and because you are sons God has sent his spirit of sons into our hearts crying ever father so you are no longer a slave I read that, sorry. My apologies. John three eleven eighteen. Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know and bear witness to what we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you earthly things and you do not believe, how can you believe I tell you heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven except he who has descended from heaven, the Son of Man, and Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So must the Son of Man be lifted up? that whoever believes in him may have an eternal life. Mark 4, 9, and he said, He who has ears, let him hear. Matthew 7, 24, Everyone then who hears the words of mine and does, not, does them will make a wise man who built his house on the rock. Jeremiah 33, 3, Call to me and I will answer you, and I will tell you great and hidden things you, you have not known. John 1, 5, 15, if we know that he hears us whenever we speak, we know that we have requests and that we have asked of him. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 Before we encourage one another to build up another up, just as you're doing. Proverbs 25.12 Like a gold ring or an ornament of gold is wise a rapport to a listening ear. John 1.5.14 And this, the conference that we have taught him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Acts 16.25 About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to him. Deuteronomy 13.4 You shall walk after the Lord your God, and fear him, and keep his commandments, and only obey his voice, and you shall serve him, and hold fast to him. Mark 9.7 
They had a cloud overshadow them, and the voice came out of the cloud. This is my beloved son, listen to him. 1 Thessalonians 2 13. And we all say thank God consistently for this, that what you have received, the word of God, what you heard from us, you accepted it, not as the word of man, but as what it really is, the word of God, which is at work in you, believers. Galatians 3 5. Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you do so by works of the law or by hearing with faith? Oh, wow, beautiful rain. Cool. John 10:27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. Proverbs 20:12. The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. Proverbs 18:15. An intelligent heart acquires knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeks knowledge. Proverbs 1.33 But whoever listens to me will dwell secure and be at ease without dread or disaster. That should be a thunder. Cool. Psalms 18.6 In my distress I call upon the Lord. To my God I cry for help. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. Philippians 4.8 Finally, my brothers, whatever is true. Whatever is honourable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Matthew 4.4 4, But he answered, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of God. Psalms 5.3 O oh Lord, in the morning you hear my voice, and in the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. Ah, oh, that's so... Matthew 18.5 If your brother sins against you, go and tell him it's for his fault. Between you and him alone, if he listens to you, you've gained a brother. And there's only a couple of people that can actually do that. Um, it's really sad. I've tried to help people. I, I didn't do it judgmentally. I actually don't hate the people. I care for the people. And the way I've been treated and other people have been treated is just absolutely disgusting. Proverbs 2, 122, my son, if you receive words and treasure up my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, yes, if you call out for insight and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it as hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of the God. Psalms 35, 15, the eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears towards their cry. Luke 12, 3. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark shall be heard in the light, and whatever you have whispered in private rooms shall be proclaimed in the housetops, rooftops. Matthew 17, 5. He was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed him, and the voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Matthew 15, 10. And he called all the people to him and said to them, Hear and understand. A wise son understands his father's instruction, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. 1 Peter 3 8. Firstly, all of you, you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, tender heart, and a humble mind. 1 Corinthians 13 4 7. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It's not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, and hopes all things, endures all things. Jeremiah 26 3. It may be that they will listen and that everyone will turn from evil, his evil way that I may relent of disaster that I intend to do to them because of their evil deeds. You shall say to them, Thus says the Lord, if you do not listen to me, to walk in my law that I have set before you, and to listen to the words of my servants, the prophets whom I send to you urgently, that you have not listened, then I will make this house like Shiloh, and I'll make this city of curse for all the nations on earth. Isaiah 30:15, For thus said the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest you shall be all saved, In quietness and in trust shall be your strength, But when you are unwilling. Hebrews 2:3, How shall we escape if we neglect such great salvation? It was declared at first by the Lord, And it was attested by us who served those who heard. 
Jeremiah 7.13 And now, because you have done all these things, declares the Lord, and when I spoke to you pers persistently and you did not listen, and when I called you, you did not answer. Proverbs 24.6 For be wise guidance, you can wage your war, and in abundance of cancelers there is victories. Revelation 1.1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show him, his servants, the things that must soon take place, he made a known by sending his angel to his servant, John. Hebrews 10.24 And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. Romans 8.28 And we know that for those who love God of all things and work together for God, and for those who are called according to his purpose, Mark 7.14 And he called the people to him again, and he said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Micah 1.2 Hear your peoples, and all you pay attention, O earth, and all that is in it, and let the Lord God be with a witness against you. The Lord of, from his holy tempire. 1 Peter 3.8.12 Finally, all of you, have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, tender heart, and a humble mind. Do not repay evil for evil, or reviving for reviving, or, but on the contrary, bless, for you do this, you are called, that you may obtain a blessing for whoever desires to love life and seek good days. Let him keep his tongue from evil and his lips from speaking deceit. Let him turn away from evil and do good. Let him speak peace and pursuit, for these for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Glasses go. I had them before. One Peter two seventeen. Honor everyone. Love the brotherhood. Fear God and honor the emperor. James forty four two three. You desire and do not have, so you murder. You covert and cannot attain, so you fight and quarrel. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and you do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction and training in righteousness. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. John 3:16-17. Exodus 29 8, and said to Moses, You speak to us and we will listen, but do not let God speak to us lest we will die. 1 John 3.17 But if anyone has world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? And, you know, I've been thinking about that. Like, I've seen Morgan is in trouble and, and you know, is at, at the stage of being threatened with eviction. And I, I, I hope I'll get in touch. I think I'll have to read Tuesday because I don't know if the time and the date's right, but... I mean, I would like to help him out so he doesn't get evicted, you know. I'm that sort of person. I don't care if we fought or anything, but I know he still needs help. I still pray for him, and I know he still needs help, and it's really sad that he's going through what he's going through. You know, that's the kind of stuff I still do. Someone might hate me, but I'll still go and help them. Luke 8, 20, 8 to 21. But he answers them, My mother and my brothers are close, are those who hear the word of God and do it. Genesis 18.10 Lord said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah, your wife, shall have a son. And Sarah was listening at the tent door behind him. Acts 16.14 One of who heard us was a woman named Lydia from the city of Thyla and seller of purple goods, who was a worshipper of God. The Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what was said by Paul. 1 Thessalonians 5.19 Do not quench the spirit. 2 Corinthians 6.11 We have spoken freely to you. Corinthians, our heart is wide open. Matthew 1.18.25 20, Now, the birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. 
and her husband, Joseph, being a just man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to divorce her quietly. But as he considered these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for which is conceived in her is from the Holy Ghost. She will bear a son, and she shall, you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All of this took place to fulfill what the Lord has spoken by, by the prophet. Acts 26.29 And Paul said, Whether short or long, I would like, I would to God that not only you, but also all those who hear me this day might become such as I am, except for these claims. Chains. Psalms 23, 1, 6. Psalm of David, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not what? He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for the name, his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Genesis 27.5 Now Rebekah was listening when Isaac spoke to his son Esau. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for a game and bring it. 1 Peter 3.10 For the eyes of the Lord are on righteousness, and his ears are open to their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. Luke 5.1 On one occasion... And the crowd was pressing on, in on him to hear the word of God. He was standing by the lake of Gasnet. So yeah, I just want to say thank you to everyone that is here listening at the moment. I just feel we need to help each other a bit more and not be so uh, sort of determined to be right and, you know, everyone else is wrong. We need to help each other more. Um... Uh, we need to help those that are really suffering and in need. And people are calling out for help, but a lot of people don't see it because, you know, everyone is in there. Everyone is suffering with their own problems. But um, I just want to say thank you to all my uh, subscribers out there and to the trolls out there and the lurkers. Hi! Um, I want to say thank you to that new subscriber that actually went out of the way to create an account that was a lurker for months just to say hello. I appreciate that. So thank you, everyone. Hit the like button, subscribe, share. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Raise your vibrations. Much love.